Hey, has this ever happened to you? It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and then somebody says something to you and it changes all around. Suddenly your day is awful. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to stop that once and for all so you can control the day. Hey, it's Michael Creasa here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode. And it's about mindset in the fact that some people, when they say something to you, can ruin your day. Well, how do you stop that from happening? How do you take control back so it doesn't ruin your day? Well, the article was contributed to us by our good friend and life coach, Brenda Florida. So make sure you check her out because I know you'll like the article. And speaking of like, please give this video a big like, a share, and leave a comment below. So let's get into the scenario. Let's pretend, like I said, you're having an awesome day. It's an awesome day. You're driving in the car, you got your favorite John Denver tune happening, and boom, somebody cuts you off. And what do you do? You lose your mind, you get all upset, you're going crazy. And think about what just happened here. Somebody that you don't know has stepped in and completely taken control away from you of your emotions. They've literally taken away your emotions. They're controlling them. And instead of being in a good mood, you're in a rotten mood. Well, how crazy is that? Well, maybe it's something even different. You're at a family function, you're talking, and you know we're all in real estate. And one of your relatives says, hey, uh, are you busy? Are you actually selling houses? And boom, you take that as a negative, as an offense. Now let's stop for a second here. Remember that when people speak to you, they're looking through their own lenses. And when we interpret what people say, we're putting our filter around what we hear and interpreting it our way. So let's look at the family member there for a second. It could be just out of sheer concern that they're worried about you. So it's not a put down. But the way we interpret that is enough to spin us off this spiral where we're going out of control. So let's do this. From now on, when somebody says something to you, number one, it's a lot harder than it sounds, I know, but don't take it personal. You have to understand that everybody has their own drama, their own story that they're involved in at the time. And when they say something to you, it may have nothing to do with you. It could be the fact that they're just spouting off something because of the story they're in right now, the way they're feeling right now. So don't take it personal. Words are like arrows. And the only way those arrows can hurt you is if you let them in. So the first thing is, number one, don't take it personal. Number two, actually kind of deconstruct what they said to you. Let that kind of, you know, rattle around in your brain a bit, analyze it, and then say, hmm, is this person malicious? Is this something that they would usually say to me, like in a negative manner? And if the person is that kind of way, you, you got to ask yourself, why do you want them in your life to begin with? Like, you know, get rid of them. But if it's somebody who's a friend and, and they say something like this to you, again, what was the intent behind it? You got to analyze that and realize, was it for your own benefit? And maybe now that you have to be objective, the scenario that it was involved in, could you have learned from that? Is there something that you did that you can gain from what they said? Is there a positive thing you can do this? So the whole thing is take that phrase, whatever it was that they said, you've got to re-spin it in your mind and realize, number one, words only have power if you allow them to. So don't let them have the power. Number two, reevaluate what the message and the intent was. Number three, is there something that you can do different? Is there something you could have done differently? So it's a learning experience. And ultimately, number four, understand you control your emotions. So if somebody says something to you, don't take it personal. Think happy thoughts. I know that's kind of crazy, but take what they said, spin it around in a positive context that you're learning from the situation and move on. And here's another thing. Don't let it affect you. Say something nice to somebody else and it kind of just all goes away. Michael Creasy here, executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Be sure you check out the article that Brenda submitted. Leave us a like, a comment below, and by all means, share this video.